Welcome back to another Terranscapes video. And I'm Mike, and I'll be your guide today. And we have a special guest who doesn't really like to be picked up. And this is Simon. Hi, Simon. Say hi. Simon is a rescue cat, and he has uh, one bad eye. And when he came to us, he uh, had a limp, and we thought his arm, his arm, his paw, his leg was uh, like permanently injured because he wouldn't put any weight on it, but then it got better. And uh, he came from like a cat hoarder house. So he's got a little inbreeding. So his hips are a little messed up, maybe a lot messed up. We'll see when he gets older. And uh, he gets kind of fat easily. So I sometimes come up with uh, sayings for my cats, like, uh, you know, I don't know, sayings. And uh, his is uh, that he has the body of a seal and the eye of a vulture he's cute he's super needy though it's ridiculous he just sits next to me all day and bugs me you're not here to talk about cats maybe you're here to talk about cocktails but i doubt it tonight's cocktail is a gin ricky which is gin a little dash of uh rose's lime juice garnished with a lime uh i often think that regular lime juice might be a little bit better in a gin ricky, but that's the traditional recipe. So what are you here for today? Cats, drinks, what do you know? Um, you are here to see something from the way, way back machine. Mm, many years ago, maybe four, mm, I want to say more because I've, oh God, it must be, could even be as far back as six years. I made a display board for myself. I was playing um, Undead back when Warhammer was Warhammer and then um, continued using it up through um, some of the early uh, Kings of War shift that our club made. And I thought I would finally show it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm not going to say anything more about it. We're just going to go over to the bench. We'll take a look at it and we'll come back and wrap it up. So this is the display board. It is a this has been a this has been a friend at many a GT. Uh, so the rocks are uh, plaster cast from Woodland Scenics molds, and then you're probably wondering about the skull. This was from a candy mold. We were in a Halloween store. Uh, Tanya was um, picking up something I think for a costume, and I was just walking up and down the aisles waiting. And I saw this candy mold, and I was like, "Oh, I'm grabbing it." I have no idea what I'd use it for, but I was like, "That's got some purpose, some use." So what I did is I. Uh, filled it with Sculptamold, and when I packed it in, it doesn't fill it, you know, perfectly, and it leaves these little voids, and that gave it a kind of a nice chipped rock look. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised when I demolded it and took a look at it. Uh, and in fact, I used um, Sculptamold to uh, blend many of the rock casts, as well as um, to do the sides of this uh, stairway here the the structure itself is is you know layers of foam um, and i carved the uh, stairs directly into the foam uh, and that was a kind of a different technique i've actually never revisited but i think uh, i liked it came out pretty well and then i used um, pieces from the garden of more set this is a gw uh, terrain kit and i thought they had stopped selling it and lo and behold i checked they still have it in their store and for $50, it is a hell of a bargain for terrain. I have to say that this is one of the better priced GW kits. Um, for those of you who are not familiar, this is only a tiny piece of the set. It's got some tombs and uh, stones and other piece, more fence work. And um, this uh, statue comes from that kit as well. I actually um, cast the statue, made a mold and I cast it to make two. And then I actually made some more for um, our terrain for our GT, uh, the Unplugged Gamers GT. It's been a while since I've talked about it. We have a GT coming up. You know what, I'll, uh, I'll talk about it in the outro. Anyway, um, so I wanted something that I could move around and place in different spots depending on you know where where troops needed to be uh, displayed and uh, and or just taken off if I really need the space uh, and I thought it's nice to have something in the front that's tall to kind of help you know fill this front um, you know especially if you just have a lot of low troops right it, rather than everything just kind of sliding down these kind of make like 
you know, sort of like fence posts to kind of anchor everything on the board. And the uh, building is a building I cast from a mold I made using Hearst Arts blocks. Uh, for those of you who are longtime uh, Terranscapes viewers, uh, you probably recognize this building. And in fact, there's a video um, I put up uh, quite a while ago. So um, you're going way, way back to see the video of the mold itself that makes this building. And I talked a little bit about how I use that mold and cast into it. Now, what I did is I cast it in um, a resin plastic shell, and then I filled it with foam, and that allowed me to cut off a section of it so I could make it fit the corner back a little bit better. Um, it saves a little space, of course, for displaying troops, and, and it makes it visually, it fits better. Uh, overall. And then, of course, I um, added in, you know, some vegetation just to kind of break it up. And then um, a, a, just a ton of skulls. I have a, a bag of metal skulls I picked up. I've got a couple now of uh, different kinds. And um, I just started painting up some and, and sticking them all around. Um, of course, how could I not with the motif so uh, dominant in uh, Games Workshop's uh, terrain elements? This is a wooden frame I picked up uh, a while back, actually, when I was making display boards and I wanted frames for them. I bought a bunch of frames online uh, from a, a frame store, and I had them in a couple different colors, and they were just like the perfect size uh, to make a... a display board on and this is um i think i don't know i might even have one more somewhere in the back room i should mention a little bit about dimensions um, thinking about what this could hold um, just for for scale purposes uh, this uh, plateau here is a six inches wide and about four inches deep um, this is obviously you know um, a bit narrower and this when I used it was holding um, a 2000, even a 2250 point undead army. And undead armies can have a lot of models. And when I wasn't using a ton of zombies, everything fit pretty well. Um, even a Terrorgeist, which if you know that model, it's a big model. Um, but once I started adding in zombies, uh, it got a little bit more crowded. Um, but I would put a unit of dire wolves over here, or you could have a unit of uh, knights. And of course, I would have, um, you know, characters up here, and, and then some of my large flying monsters, um, the Vargeists, I would have up in the back, and uh, that sort of idea. Uh, just to, to sort of wrap up the uh, sizes here, so from the inside of the frame, the actual surface of the board, um, it is 18 inches to uh, the back and it is 23 inches across the front. Two more quick things before I go. Uh, the weathering I did on uh, this building and was and some other areas was used with um, Model Mates um, weathering liquid. It's sort of a water soluble pigment liquid uh, that's uh, very forgiving. You can wipe it off and apply it more and more layers to thicken it up. Um, I believe Model Mates is out of uh, business now uh, and I don't know if somebody's picked up their product line I went to go look for some and I was like oh oh they're they're gone uh, so anyway that might be a I have some bottles and maybe those are rare rare valuable uh, modeling materials now and the uh, rust I did on the fence was with um, uh, weathering pigments and I used a matte medium to kind of chunk it up a little bit and then um, kind of, you know, put it wherever I wanted so it'd have a little bit of texture. Uh, but um, that was the technique that I used at the time. And of course you can see the effect that it produced. So that is the display board. Um, there's a lot of fond memories associated with it. Uh, a lot of uh, fun comments from it at many GTs. And um, it really did surprise me. I, I, met, I think I said this in the, uh, in the, at the bench, but it really surprised me at how much I think it's held up in terms of quality um, from, you know, the things that I do now. Of course, like I said, there'd be many things I would change, but um, it was nice when I, I broke it out because it had been in the closet for quite a while. And I was looking at it, I was like, huh, well, that kind of holds up pretty well. So uh, that was kind of a nice, nice thought for me, um, how I felt about it. Um, I did give my patrons a little 
sneak peek at it with a very special photo. I spent some time and did a little special effects on it. I'm gonna keep that as a patron exclusive, but it was fun. I don't often get the chance to just sit and just photograph something and then play with that. Uh, so when I was um, taking it out and shooting some photos, I was thinking, let's have some fun with this. So anyway, um, speaking of Patreon, if you are interested in becoming a patron, I've made some changes to the rewards, and um, if you're a high enough level patron, I'm going to do a Google Hangout every month, um, change the way I um, handle monthly columns. So I'm going to move monthly columns to a reward level rather than having them open to the public, and all the ones that are up there right now, though, will still be publicly viewable, and there are 30 two of them, I think. Um, and so they're really good foundation because the things people have been asking me about to write have been foundational questions. Um, and as the uh, topics move forward from here, those start to get a little more specialized, uh, some requiring some experiments on my part. Um, I'm going to be doing a, uh, uh, a column on brushes, paint brushes, types of bristles, um, cleaning them, um, all sorts of stuff. I bought a whole bunch of brushes to do this because I feel like looking at brushes is very confusing. You know, are these sable hairs? Are these Kolinsky sable? Are they, you know, wh what other animal hairs are they? Are they nylon? Are, you know, because I don't want to use animal hair, so I want, what kinds of synthetics are available? It's Taclon, it's, you know, all of this. It's white Taclon, it's golden Taclon, and then, of course, all the different numbers. You know, it's a number one, it's a zero, it's a double zero, it's a, you know, and like, what? how do all, how do these all play out in painting? Um, so I have a pretty wide selection of brushes and some um, from unconventional uh, selections that, you know, most of us as miniature painters uh, would not think to look for. So I, I'm looking forward to doing that column. Anyway, that'll be coming up. Uh, I got to write that. Um, and um, if you're an existing patron, um, I will be making um, a system for you to be able to view the next um, few months of Montre 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 columns. Monthly, monthly columns, um, even if you're not at that reward level, uh, because I don't want to just be like, you're out, you know, you're in, and I want to keep you in um, while that transition is happening, because um, because I love you guys. It's kind of, it's crazy. I don't want to, anyway. Um, so, those are some changes there. <clears throat> and, um, and I think that's it. So um, hopefully you found something here that was um, entertaining or informative. If you're a new viewer, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. And questions and comments are always welcome down below. I'm kind of sp spurty, sp spurty, it sounds a little dirty when I say it like that, um, on um, answering uh, comments. Uh, and I, I got caught up a little while ago and I'm a little behind now. So I'm going to kind of try to plug away at them and stay a little more current because you guys have such great feedback sometimes. I'm like, ah, you know, I don't want to look at that two months later and be like, oh, I wish I had done that. So, so I'm going to try to chip away at them. Um, but uh, don't expect an immediate response to your comment. So if you have a question, eh, you know, don't ask me about something you're doing next week because I probably won't get to it. So, <sighs> Thank you for joining me. I hope you come back and see my next video because you know that I will be back soon with another Terrence Gibbs video.